hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so so far uh, in the optoelectronics devices and systems we discussed the basic introductory concepts the optical communication system block diagram and uh, in the previous video we discussed the basic structural concepts of optical fiber so in this video we are going to discuss about the classification of optical fibers the different types of optical fibers so <clears throat> so the optical fibers they form an important part of the optical communication system carrying the signal the data uh, modulated with the help of carrier light signals from the source to the destination so they are cylindrical waveguides that carry light through long distances with multiple total internal reflections uh, and it has three main parts the core cladding and jacket where core is the innermost part cylindrical portion cladding is the coating the cylindrical coating over the core and jacket is the outermost covering to protect the core cladding combination core has maximum refractive index cladding has a refractive index lower than that of the core and it is this core cladding diameters and core cladding refractive index that controls the different types of optical fibers so a variation in one of these parameters either the refractive index or the diameter will give us a different type of optical fiber okay so classification of optical fibers okay what are the different types of optical fibers that are used so there are two ways of classifying the optical fibers like i said first on the basis of the refractive index of the core and second the diameter of the core okay in the previous video also i said that the diameter of the core and the refractive index they are the two most important parameters when it comes to optical fibers variation in each of these things will cause some changes in the transmission characteristics the transmission efficiency so these are the two ways in which we can classify optical fibers so first let us discuss the on the basis of refractive index of core so on the basis of core refractive index the optical fibers can be divided into two categories first the step index fiber second is the graded index optical fiber so let us see what each of these uh, are first the step index fiber so in the step index fiber the refractive index of the core this innermost cylindrical portion in step index fiber the refractive index of the core remains constant throughout the entire region of the core the entire you know uh, volume of the core okay so with respect to the change in the radius or distance from the center of the core the refractive index does not change it means at the middle of the core at the center of a uh, center of the core the refractive index will be the same as that at the outer surfaces okay the outer regions the refractive index is totally constant throughout the core that is the step index fiber and we know that the core has the maximum refractive index in the optical fiber but even though it has maximum refractive index it is uniform when it is uniform throughout the core region then it is called as the step index fiber then we have is the second one which is the graded index fiber so in the graded index fiber the refractive index of the core is variable it is not constant it is different at different points within the core okay so basically it varies parabolically with respect to the radius of the core so we can understand it in a simple way that the refractive index at the center the center of the core i am talking about this core material not talking about cladding or jacket 
for the score only for a graded index fiber the refractive index at the center is maximum and it is minimum at the outer surfaces and in between it changes it fluctuates parabolically okay so for now we will discuss about these uh, uh, variations the graphical representation the mathematical representation we will discuss it in a separate video because if i put all of these in a in one video it will be very confusing first you understand the basic information then we'll go into the advanced analysis so for a graded index fiber the refractive index is maximum at the center of the core minimum at the outer surface and in between it varies parabolically with respect to the radius of the core as the distance from the uh, center of the core changes okay and uh, then on the basis of core diameter which is another important characteristics of the optical fiber <coughs> sorry the uh, optical fibers can again be divided into two categories first is the mono mode optical fiber and then we have is the multi mode optical fiber okay so let us see so the mono mode optical fibers they have very small core diameters okay for the mono mode optical fiber the core diameters are small and generally the core diameter it uh, lies in between 1 micrometer to 50 micrometer so the core diameter for the optical fiber falls in the range of 1 to 100 micrometer but for a mono mode optical fiber they have small core diameters and that falls in between 1 micrometer to 50 micrometer now how this core diameter affects the transmission efficiency the transmission characteristics is that it has only one propagation path it means it can only transmit one light ray at a time one light signal okay so the core diameter affects the transmission efficiency i said in the previous video that the refractive index and the core diameter they affect the transmission characteristics so smaller core diameters result in reduction in the transmission uh, the the amount of transmission data transmission because with smaller diameters the number of signals that can be transmitted reduces so for mono mode optical fiber it has the capacity to transmit only one light signal if we transmit more light signals there will be interference there will be distortion so for that for mono mode optical fibers only one light signal can be passed one ray of light then we have is the multi mode optical fiber so the opposite of mono mode that the, uh, the the multi mode optical fibers sorry here it is multi mode the multi mode optical fibers they have larger core diameters larger core diameters means the core diameter falls in between 50 micrometer to 100 micrometer now as the core diameter increases it means the capacity of the channel also increases it means it can accommodate multiple optical or light signals light rays so it can transmit more than one light signal at a time multiple optical signal propagation paths so it's very simple increase in the capacity or increase in the uh, channel uh, region will allow multiple signals to be accommodated but a reduction in the size will cause a decrease in the capacity so it's very simple so the multi mode optical fibers they can transmit more than one light signals so uh, you must be thinking why we should use mono mode optical fibers now uh, it is very early to tell you these things but still there are some requirements in some applications where we need only one signal so in that case Uh, the mono mode optical fibers are used uh, so whether only one light signal or only one uh, data transmission path is required so depending on the nature of the application the requirement 
uh, the type of optical fiber is chosen whether it is step index fiber or graded index fiber or monomode optical fiber or multimode optical fiber so in the upcoming videos we'll discuss uh, some other uh, concepts related to optical fibers so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much